Welcome to the 2021 Tektronix Innovation Forum. I am glad you're here. We appreciate that you've carved out time for what promises to be a rewarding event full of insights, learnings, and connections from more than 40 guest speakers. In our worlds, the world of technology, it's common to hear that we live in unprecedented times. But at this moment, as we emerge from a global pandemic and transition into a new future of work, it's never been truer. The rest of the world is looking to us, the engineers and the problem solvers, to chart our course. One design not only for speed, but for sustainability. One that demands our batteries, they last months or years, not days. And one built to move volumes of data that we could barely fathom even a decade ago. The pandemic, it's proven that even when it appears the world's at a standstill, all of you continue making a better future. It's just who you are. Today, we come together in a shared spirit. Whether you're a longtime partner or a new collaborator, we are here to engineer the future, which means thinking differently than we did in the past. This means taking advantage of the cloud, analytics, and artificial intelligence to help global teams of engineers and scientists collaborate faster with colleagues all over the world. We also must think differently by recruiting people from diverse backgrounds and ensuring the solutions we create are built with cleaner technologies for a greener planet. And one example at Tektronix is an initiative that we share with our parent company, Fortive. Together, we have set an aggressive goal to achieve 50% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2025, thus demonstrating our commitment to making the planet a better place for the next generations. Now you may be wondering, what else is new at Tektronix? And I wanna take my time to share a few highlights. We're excited about the opportunity ahead we're investing in customer-inspired innovation, and we're working together with you, our customers, our partners, and the Tektronix team to deliver results. So let me start with the exciting opportunity I see ahead of us. You know, one could credit the latest 5G network deployments. You all live in the technology world, you most likely know the next generation of wireless standards support a hundred times more devices in the same space. Instead of 10 devices, a thousand devices. We also get exponentially more bandwidth and improved connectivity. One might credit Moore's Law for continued advancements in wafer technology and material science that has enabled semiconductor chips that have more performance, more functionality in a smaller and smaller footprint that uses less power. Well, we must recognize and give credit to the impact over the last decade of cloud technologies, new consumption business models, analytics, artificial intelligence. Whether you're a startup company, or a global enterprise. Data storage, analytics, and AI have become almost democratized and unlimited, accessible from any place with a pay-as-you-grow model. Yet, my credit, it really goes out to the people joining us today. You are the problem solvers, the relentlessly curious, the ones who ask why, why not, and what if. You see things differently. You never say never. You're the ones who push the boundaries in science and technology to start making tomorrow 
better today. Technology advancements, they've been happening for decades. Those are the enablers. Yet it's you, yes you, you're the one that's making the difference. By applying your engineering know-how, your problem-solving skills to every single industry. Think about the industries being impacted by technology today. Agriculture, weather prediction, medical, manufacturing, and the use cases, whether it's life-changing electronics for a child with a disability to our aging parents, or maybe the safety from unpredictable weather events to the safety of my dog, knowing that he's home okay. You think about the devices, mobile phones, they've been getting better and better for a long time, many years. How about sensors, teeny tiny sensors that can go inside your body, or drones, robotics, electronic vehicles, autonomous driving. The simple fact, is that connected electronic devices from sensors to potentially electric powered tractor trailer trucks are growing exponentially, regardless of the vertical. And that is good for everybody that's joining us here today. As all of you, our customers push the boundaries of technology in turn, you push Tektronics. We've got to innovate to figure out how to test and measure at the cutting edge of electronics and material science. And this leads me to how we are listening to you, our customers, and investing in a new approach to innovation. I mentioned this is a special year for Tektronics. It was 75 years ago, an Army veteran with a knack for tinkering with the radio and radar equipment began his own path to engineer the future. One of our founders, Howard Vallum's relentless curiosity and personal drive for innovation put our company on a trajectory from which we never left. We were initially known for the very first oscilloscope that allowed the engineer of a different era to see signals over time. The staying power of Tektronics is a testament to our commitment to innovation and the time-tested relationships with all of our customers. Thank you for your trust. Thank you for your loyalty. But most of all, thank you for sharing with us your impossible challenges. It's the relentless pursuit of problem solving your most important problems that has always fueled our innovation. At Tektronics, we've built a process for investing in new ideas that are born from working directly with you. This is called our growth acceleration process. I like to think of Tektronics as a 75 year old startup company. Our teams with Inside Tech, they get to live in the best of both worlds. They get the agility and energy of startup with the funding and the support of an enterprise company that has the resources to provide elite coaching, innovation tools, subject matter experts, and customer access. The growth accelerator process begins with a phase we call dream. And the first gate in the dream phase is the idea gate. This is where teams pitch ideas. A team, it could be one person, can complete 10 to 12 hours of market work and bring an idea to our growth board. Assuming the idea aligns with our strategy and they've done good market work, the team gets initial resources or funding to go better understand the magnitude of this customer problem. With success, a program moves into the next two phases where teams get 
additional funding to go validate potential solutions to the, to the problem and to the business model. If a team passes all the gates, and it's hard, only 30 to 40% of the ideas make it all the way through the funnel. But if they do, this program goes into our agile development team where they begin to initiate a new program. Our growth board consists of five senior leaders that act as coaches and advocates to give our innovators the best chance of success from a creative idea to bringing it to market. The growth board has access to early stage investments, and we follow that with metered funding. In just the past year, we've had over 100 people that have participated in the growth accelerator process. We have four programs that are already released into engineering and a healthy funnel of ideas. Uh, we are bullish on the impact of the growth accelerator process in 2022 and beyond. This brings me to teamwork. Now, let me explain how teamwork is one of our competitive advantages at Tektronix. When I say teamwork, I mean between our customers, our partners, and our employees. Inside tech, we refer to this as working as hashtag one team. I'm going to give you a few examples, but my first one team example is very relevant to today. And it starts with a story about the Tektronix global manufacturing and supply chain team. We talked about this explosion of electronic products. You know, combine that with well over a year of a global pandemic and a lot of disruption in supply chain. This has led to the worst semiconductor component crunch in years. The Tektronix supply chain team, I'm super proud of this team, they were able to see around the corner as early as last December, and they initiated a number of countermeasures across ASICs and memory and displays and other components to lessen the impact of future supply constraints. However, Tektronix and our suppliers, they couldn't solve this. They can't navigate this challenge alone. And that's where I want to shout out to our loyal partner and distributor network. They, co they combined with our field sales organization and have been working closely with manufacturing and our product lines to optimize their inventory levels and provide transparency to our customers and our sales teams. Another part of the equation in the teamwork comes from a division of Tektronix called the Component Solutions Organization. They quickly reacted where we had bottlenecks in our ASIC supply, and they have turned up production in just weeks to help us with some of the packaging and test of our ASICs. Let me be clear, we do have extended lead times on some products in the portfolio. We are doing our absolute best to give you lead times that you can count on. My ask, my ask of you is that you place your orders as early as possible to give us visibility to your needs so we can work to improve the dates in which your solutions will arrive. I believe we still have another month or two to navigate uh, a tough environment before we can start moving back towards historical product lead times. But this is how we work as one team. You, all of you, are part of our team, and together as a team, we deliver results. I, I'm excited to share on the Fortive earnings call, the last one, just recent one, Tektronix was celebrated for our growth in every single region around the world. In the first quarter, tech saw double digit growth with Western Europe and China growing over 20%. This growth is being led by our solutions and applications for power, semiconductor and communications. 
Another example of teamwork highlights our Global Service Solutions Organization. We refer to them as SSO. The SSO team supports all test and measurement equipment, any OEM's equipment. And during the COVID pandemic, many hospitals and critical care facilities needed their devices calibrated. While some of our competitors pulled back during these times, the Tektronics field technicians proved that customers can count on us when it matters most and when lives are on the line. My last call out is our teamwork with NASA. We have worked with the US Space Agency since the Apollo moon landing more than 50 years ago. Earlier this year, when NASA landed a rover on the surface of Mars, the Tektronics team got a note. NASA Mission Control was still cheering their engineering feet, yet they took a moment to write us a thank you. I want to read part of it to you. Today is just a moment in time, but it shows what is possible and the amazing amount of effort and teamwork everyone put in to making a landing on another planet such a success. NASA didn't have to acknowledge our part of their success. I don't know many engineers who do their work for the glory, but the fact that they did spoke to their appreciation of our teamwork. At their biggest moment of the year, just when everything was going right, they took the time to acknowledge Tektronics. Today, I want to do the same to you. We couldn't engineer the future without you. The customers we will learn from, the up and coming engineering students who inspire us, and the many Tektronic colleagues around the world you're going to meet at this innovation forum. The days ahead, you're gonna hear from world-class engineers and a leadership, my leadership team, for our deeper dives into solutions and empowering our customers around the world. Today begins new connections for you. So please take a moment to use this virtual platform to connect with the Tektronics team.